So you see, friend, the suffering you hear around you in this darkened place has not been inflicted on us as punishment for evil deeds or crimes against the Roman authorities. The evil prowlings of Satan have now been doomed, as the wrath of God's judgment on this earth has begun. I have seen Christ. I witnessed his miracles. I watched his crucifixion. Yet, with my own eyes, I have seen him alive again. I have touched his flesh, and I wept as he spoke his final words on earth and ascended into the heavens. It is for his cause we endure our sufferings here. But with God's grace, our fears are removed, our pain is durable, and our souls have peace. Simon, son of Jonah! My lord called me Peter. Simon, son of Jonah, by decree from Nero, Emperor of Rome, you are to be taken from this cell and crucified unto death publicly for the delight and enjoyment of the citizens of Rome. Help him to his feet. Carry him if he can't walk. Curled up in their prison cells, they shivered in the cold. Tortured for the cause of Christ, yet peace was in their souls. For weeks they were in shackles that cut their hands and feet. They suffered in a Roman jail for preaching in the streets. And suddenly the soldiers came and grabbed one of the brothers. He knew death was waiting out that door, so he called out to the others. We have won. We have won. Through the blood of Jesus, we have won. Let it ring out through the ages Endure though evil rages Christians stand courageous We have won Evil powers seek to win The reign of our great Lord at times it seems they might succeed as we face their vengeful swords. But like those Christian brothers who offered up their lives, may we boldly pledge to fight on as we press toward the prize. Though Satan hurls with all his might, his massive fury against us, he can't prevail, he's doomed to fail before the power of Jesus. We have won, we have won, through the blood of Jesus, we have won. Sweet. Yeah.